I'd like to introduce today's panel. Today we have Jeff Downs, our CEO. Hello, everybody. Peter Matsumoto, our Hello. CTO. Kieran Jussi. Good afternoon. Our customer care manager, Kurt Hewson, our sales Hello. manager, and Sarah Gonzalez, Hi. our marketing manager. Jeff, I want to start with you first. 2014 has been a big year. Can you provide us with a brief overview of what 2014 looked like for Redback? Brief? Brief. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to lie to you, it's been a hell of a good year. You know, we've had uh, growth after growth after growth. It's been extremely busy. We've added new employees, new customers. We've developed the staff that we've got. Uh, it's been a really exciting, crazy rocket ship of a ride, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, during the course of the year, we've uh, moved offices, added new services, uh, consulted with our customers, and uh, really, we've been just been really hitting it hard. Mm, what about any of the other big events that have happened in 2014? Jeff, can you touch on some of those as well? Absolutely. So we've been able to launch some uh, new services. Uh, I think of our cloud-based video conferencing service, Sivo, uh, TCP, which is Teleconferencing Control Panel. This is a technology that allows people to launch and control their own teleconferences in a large environment. It's really uh, exciting and that was based on some feedback that we received from our clients. Uh, we've won a ton of awards. Um, we've continued to develop our uh, webinar and webcast platform, constantly adding new features and functionality and it's just getting better and better every day. That's right. We're all very proud of those accolades. Yeah. Now, has it all been smooth sailing, Jeff? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in any fast-paced growth uh, business, you're going to get a few bumps along the way. With us, I think the thing that hit us was we did, as we continued to grow, there became a knowledge gap, and we were just moving too quickly. The left hand sometimes didn't know what the right hand was doing, and so we've now addressed that. We've implemented a, a new CRM that touches on every element of the business and it's going to pull in all the information and make it a lot easier for us to be able to understand exactly what's going on. So I can think of one example recently where we wanted to improve <coughs> the quality of our international toll-free uh, numbers so we went out and we got a new toll-free service provider for the international countries and it's been great. It's given us fantastic quality of service and really opened up the world to us. We've doubled, almost tripled the number of countries that are now available to us. But in doing that, because we'd been growing so quickly and we hadn't had our CRM implemented yet, there was a handful of clients that we weren't able to, to uh, notify in a timely fashion. It disrupted them. We learned from it, we'll do better, and uh, we're moving forward and moving onward. Great, so thank you, Jeff. A massive year all round, I know. Uh, Peter, your turn. Now, tell me from a technology perspective, what's been happening? in 2014? Well, plenty has happened this year. Um, one of the big things that we've deployed this year was a new service called Sivo. It's our video conferencing service platform. It provides an easy to use, high definition video conferencing service to desktops, to mobile devices, and traditional 323 and SIP devices. Um, it's a highly scalable cloud offering. It's hosted here in Australia. And um, those, that's the big one. That's really big one. So you, you mentioned Australian hosted. We've yes. always been an Australian company. So what does that mean, please? Well, to be Australian, it's to be um, hosted here in Australia. It's all about security and performance. We place our service here in Sydney, Australia, to ensure that we have um, the closest proximity to our customers to ensure the best performance. Uh, we do that also to ensure that we comply with any kind of data sovereignty compliance requirements. and. Yeah, all around, it's all about Australia. That's great. It seems like this year has been pretty big from a technology perspective as well. Thank you, Pete. So tell us, what's on the agenda for 2015? Well, there's plenty of uh, to talk about in 20, uh, sorry, 2015, but uh, just to name a few, we will be looking at um, producing larger teleconferences, so larger event conferences, which involve investor relations. Uh, we look at also refreshing something called the account management portal. This is the AMP portal that allows our customers to access their own information. Uh, we'll be adding new features to that AMP portal, uh, which has to do with a new reporting engine, new dashboards, um, control to live conferences, as well as recording and recast, as well as media hosting. Um, one of the final things that we'll be doing is looking at refreshing, also not refreshing, but adding 
new functionalities to what Jeff referred to as our TCP, which is our teleconferencing control panel. We'll be adding new features that will allow us to give our customers more access and more control over their events. So the account management portal, Pete, all of our customers have access to that now, is that correct? They, they do, in yeah. fact, yes. And, and in fact, that's why it's a refresh. We're really adding new functionality and trying to improve and give greater control to our customers to their information, their call details, and, um, and just be able to order new services through that portal. Great. Thank you very much for that, Peter. Now, Kurt, from my perspective as a member of the sales team, it's been a really great year in 2014. Mm -hmm. Can I hear it from your perspective as the sales manager? Yeah, sure. Look, uh, 2014, we've had a, a, a cracking year in the sales team. Um, it's seen us almost double in size and, and moving into the new office in July this year, we've already filled up the space. Um, I'd have to give a, a lot of credit to our, our, our veterans in the sales team, as well as the, those that have joined us this year. Everybody's been contributing um, massively. Um, I think we've been having a, a really great time um, with, with client acquisition, um, as well as with our existing customers. And uh, with, with great technology coming from the tech team and, and lots of leads coming from the marketing team, uh, it makes for a very happy sales team. So tell me a little bit, we've talked about all of the new services that we've introduced this year. How have we introduced them within the sales team? Yeah, sure. Um, with respect, let, let's talk specifically about the video conferencing service, which has been uh, just wonderful, really, thanks to Peter and his team. Um, it's great to be able to introduce services that are uh, very complementary and, and fit very nicely within the existing business that we have. Um, for, so for those of you who haven't seen the video conferencing, uh, what's really great about it is it's the same login credentials that we already have out there with our teleconferencing service. It's also allowed us to be more of a comprehensive service provider where we're able to consolidate um, telephone conferencing, web conferencing and, and video conferencing with, with one provider and with one code. So yeah, the launch in the sales team, although um, it hasn't all been completely smooth sailing and sometimes there's a steep learning curve that happens in front of the customer, um, which we try to avoid. Um, overall, it's been really positive, really, really well received. Great. Kieran, Good welcome. Afternoon. Thank you. Welcome to the team and to Redback. And Thank you. Um, we've had lots of changes this year which have affected your team in a good way. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what you've implemented sure. and how, how you've done it. Sure. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's been an interesting seven months. Seven months um, now since I've been in the organisation. I think um, to say I'm settled is probably a bit from the truth. It's been a roller coaster of a journey, um, and it's been some great learnings along the way. Not only am I learning a new industry, I'm getting to know a new team. Um, but I've been very fortunate in the six months whilst I find my feet. I've also spent quite a bit of time with our customers as well. Is really understanding what is it that customers buy from Redback. And what is it that they want? You know, what is it that they expect or what is it that, that they perceive as value? So whilst we've been understanding that from a customer perspective, we've also looked at a lot of our internal team, um, internal processes, and we've made a number of changes. So some great things we've done this year, we've refreshed or brought in four or five new people into the support team this year, all very experienced, all very customer focused, and they bring a real wealth of knowledge with them. Um, we've also developed three of our long-term or long-standing employees into team leader roles. And we've empowered them more and given them more accountability to really own not just the customer experience, but the development of their teams as well. So certainly a big focus that I hope to bring to the team into Redback is a customer focus, is really, really striving everything that we do to wow our customers. Um, and working with a fantastic team like we have here at Redback, I think 2015 is going to be a great year. So what do you think some of those changes will look back to the look like to the Redback customer? Sure. So I think for the customer, it will be quicker response times. It will be um, streamlined services. It will really designed to make doing business with Redback a lot easier. Um, we want to make sure we're investing time and effort and energy and money in the right areas as well. And we've made some great progress in the CRM that Jeff spoke to earlier about really connecting our internal systems to make sure that we're all singing off the same hymn sheet. We've all got that rounded view of our engagements and touch points with our customers. Um, we're looking at all of our internal processes. Again, there was an earlier mention on the account management portal refresh. And again, that's really designed to empower our customers, to give them the power and control to 
access information when it's convenient from them in a real simple manner. So we'll continue that focus. Um, and I think it's really key that everything we do, we keep customers front of mind. Absolutely. Now, Sarah, last but not least, mm. marketing, the fun part. Now, <laughs> Karen, talk, absolutely. Karen talked a little bit about feedback and yes. the collection of that. So yes. that will play very much into your area there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, no, and it has. And I do say the fun part because I have, or our team has so much fun, or has had so much fun throughout the year with our community. And we're so lucky that we have this relationship with everyone, um, whether they're a customer or someone who's just part of our community, where they do give us so much feedback. So this year, um, we worked with a lot of our customers to create um, content and educational pieces that we can hopefully distribute and then have everyone else learn from. So that contributed to the launch of webinars.com.au which is a, a hub, an ed educational hub that has a lot of content on there and allows people to be educated and inspired about online collaboration tools, which I think to many of us can still be a little bit confusing. Um, but I think the important thing is, you know, working with our community, working with our strategic partners and running our own events it made us see so many trends and so many different ways in terms of how everything's changing. So this year, three main things stood out for us. Um, the first one is the the increase in on-demand content and the fact that people are becoming more and more time poor. But as a company, we need to recognise that there is a shift. So, you know, people out there, you may notice that your attendance rates are dropping on webinars and webcasts. And we've seen a sh uh, drop from, say, 60 to 70 per cent people attending a webcast down to 40 per cent, for example. So, you know, how do we adapt and how do we change and how do we respond to that? And how do we, as a company, help you guys do better with that? So that's been one big thing. Um, and the next thing is accessibility. We've seen such an increase with a lot of our customers using smart devices all around Australia. So another thing for us is how can we also respond to that and educate people? So it's been a fun year. Um, it's also been, like I said, really a big thanks to everyone within our community allowing us to provide this and stick to our purpose within our marketing team, which is to inform, educate and inspire. So. Tell us what's happening in 2015 from marketing. Oh, crystal ball time. Um, yeah, I think, like I said, um, and everyone here has spoken about, you know, new products and services. And with that, um, it's great to be able to have all these products, but it's also a big challenge for us because we need to then differentiate all these products to everyone out there and realise that not one product <coughs> is going to be the same thing for someone in a um, marketing position or a customer service position or a professional development position. So I think it's exciting. Um, we mentioned on-demand content, so the, um, you know, working a lot with Peter, um, which you're going to love, I bet, um, to develop video hosting platforms so people can host their um, collaboration and webinars and stuff like that all online and then capture data and then report more effectively through their account management portal. So I see us working a lot closer um, departmentally with everyone within here. Um, I also see a lot more work with customers once again, getting their feedback and then being able to communicate that. Um, and accessibility and, you know, Kurt's spoken to the fact that everything's becoming faster and easier. So, you know, we have as a, as a team spoken about other things such as an app, for example, Jeff, um, and some other little tools that we can start creating next year to try and make everything easier for um, our customers and also people, not just our customers, but people joining those events as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be very exciting. That's really great. And so Kurt, I didn't ask you, um, so as a member of the sales team, I'm very interested to hear what's, what's happening for 2015. How are we going to put into place some of these marketing strategies? Yeah, I think, look, for us, it's, it's more of the same. Um, really bedding down the rollout of SIBO. Um, we have a couple of dozen, uh, dozen customers now. Uh, what I didn't mention earlier was we, we broke through the 1,000 client milestone in 2014, which was wonderful. Um, if we can add a few hundred more clients throughout 2015, I think we could be happy. Uh, building out the Melbourne office is going to be a, a, a big initiative for us as a sales team. Uh, possibly stealing some more floor space from support in the current office would be another um, important thing to achieve in 2015. Um, and really raising the bar um, as, um, as consultants, as experts, as, as people that can provide insight to our customers around how they can improve their business practice through conferencing services, through webinars, webcasts, through on-demand content. Great, thank you for that. Now we've got some questions coming through from our interactive community which we will get to. But firstly, Jeff, I believe you and the leadership team have put together 
or redefined the strategic vision for 2015, which, ladies and gentlemen, you can find in the resource folder at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, if you're interested. Um, we could also, I'd love you to talk a little bit about that, Jeff, in, in what we're doing next year. Certainly. Um, okay, first uh, thing I need to say about strategy is uh, I'm one of those people that believes that culture trumps strategy every day of the week. I think strategy is critically important, but culture is the most important thing in this type of uh, organization that we run where it's a service-oriented organization. The important thing about strategy and the thing that this group here has uh, spent the last few days working on, of course, is articulating the vision, articulating the purpose, why we're here, solidifying the foundation for what we are uh, doing and what we're building upon and ensuring that all of the staff uh, buy in and are singing on off the same um, song sheet. So really what we're all about, our vision is to improve the way organizations in Australia and in New Zealand, how they meet and collaborate at a distance. And the, how we're going to do that is by delivering simplicity and peace of mind to our end users. Um, all of that is built on our corporate values. We then identify what our key factors of success are, identify the processes in which to deliver that, consult closely with the clients along the way, and then we go out and we deliver that. Mm -hmm. We're going to be spending uh, a few days early in the new year, the entire company up in the Hunter Valley, where the leadership team will sit down with the staff and share that vision with them and make sure that everybody's buying in on it. Over a glass of wine, I hope, Jeff. One or two. Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or three. Um, I think... For the coming year, you know, if this last year was a story of growth, 2015 is going to be building upon that and it will be a story of growth and of development. Taking what we have and develop, developing it, perfecting it, making it better. We moved into a phenomenal facility um, just at the beginning of the year and it's really changed the way our business operates and it's really contributed to the culture. Uh, we've built out three different broadcast studios in the office that we're making use of on a daily basis. We've got a different customer every single day of the week, at least one coming in here. We can build and develop upon that by replicating that in Melbourne. That'll be coming during the course of 2015. And of course the development just in our personnel and, and ensuring that each and every one of them is operating at peak efficiency. Mm. Great. That yeah. sounds really, that's really clear about it. So, we've got some questions from our online audience now. So, Kathy from Christchurch, she says that you mentioned um, New Zealand in here. Can you elaborate on the services that are offered in New Zealand? Absolutely. Kathy, how are you? And uh, thanks for uh, giving us a call. Um, New Zealand's very, very important to Redback. I mean, we are a Australian organization that is dedicated to delivering services here in Australia and in New Zealand. And all of the services that we offer here in Australia are also available in New Zealand. We build a New Zealand currency. We don't have any dedicated feet on the street in New Zealand yet. Uh, we're always looking for good people, though, so if there's anyone that you know that's out there, <laughs> give Kurt a call, give Kieran a call. We're always looking for good people. Um, however, in New Zealand, if, if you're in New Zealand, you can use any of our services and we're there to support you. We have uh, people going across, I would think, almost on a monthly or bi-monthly basis. So we've got people in New Zealand helping to deliver a managed event of some mm. sort. Day-to-day -day conferencing, there's not a day that goes by that someone in New Zealand isn't using a Redback teleconference, web conference, or video conference. That's great. Thank you. Um, now, Susan from Melbourne has said a uh, great webcast, so thank you very much, Susan. Uh, you mentioned a Melbourne office. Um, have, will the Melbourne office have studio facilities? Susan, hi, good question. Uh, absolutely. Uh, what we are going to do is, first we're looking for personnel that we can hire in Melbourne. Most likely we'll start off small, we'll, we'll put them in a shared office space, we'll start to develop that, we'll get sales people, we'll get support people, we'll get AV people in there. We will replicate the, the office space that we have here in Sydney in Melbourne. We believe that it's really important that we give the people in Melbourne the opportunity to come into the CBD and do a webinar, do a webcast and have the same sort of facility. So we will absolutely be doing that. Uh, Kieran, there's a question here from Vicky from Sydney. 
she says that she potentially has an event that comes from a regional area. Do we webcast from regional areas? Absolutely. So, Vicky, firstly, thank you very much for your question. Um, Vicky, absolutely, we cover pretty much every corner of Australia um, and New Zealand, as Jeff's talked to, for um, managed services or managed events. Um, so absolutely, we often have our webcast team or our managed events team rarely in the office for more than two consecutive days. Um, so they're the, um, they're the guys that get to fly around and move around the country and um, yeah, great for them to see Australia and um, deliver some great services for our customers, so absolutely. And wherever you're based here in Australia, we can absolutely support you without any, any shadow of a doubt. Thank you for that. And another one I think sure. is directed to be from you. There's Nicola from Sydney and she's saying she's an existing client of ours or existing customer. She's had changes to her event manager this year for her managed services. Will this continue? Sorry, Nikki, was it? Nikki. Nikki, yes. again, um, thank you very much um, for your question, Nikki. Um, Nikki, we we, that's not our first preference. I think one of the, the great values or the great um, value that we drive for our customers here at Redback is the ability to work with somebody that you get to know in an ongoing manner and ongoing fashion for all of your managed events. Um, there, does come, there does come the time, um, fortunately not too often, where we do have to balance the growth of the business and also understand that we've got the right structure and the right customer base p with our employees to make sure that we continue to deliver service to the highest standards possible. So. As often as I would, as, as rare as we would like that to happen, we don't do that lightheartedly and we do try and minimise the disruption that that does cause. Um, as we continue into 2015, we would like to think as a team we're going to have much more insight into our customer requirements. We talked earlier a lot around understanding what it is that our customers want and that customer satisfaction process is certainly something that I'll be focused on in 2015. So it's about getting the insight from our customers early and making sure we've got a plan to service those customer needs and requirements, which will result in us not moving event managers. As I say, something we do rarely, but at times it does become apparent and um, it's, 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 a, it's something that we must do. Thank you, thank you. Sarah, there's one here from Philip. Yes. And Philip is asking how he joins the online community that you mentioned earlier. Philip, I like Philip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, oh, it's pretty simple. Um, all you need to do is go to our website and click on join our community. Um, and just on that, one of our other things that we're going to be doing in 2015, and you've probably heard the guys talk about it, is um, you know integrating all of our systems and our platforms internally. So um, people out there who are on our community, you're going to see much more tailored and segmented marketing coming your way. And for someone like Philip, um, going to join our community, just making sure that you're selecting your preferences and you're updating your preferences so we're not annoying you <laughs> um, but also so we can give you the right information that you need um, and also yeah Philip I really really encourage you to provide two-way feedback as well we said earlier that it is um, a nice relationship we have with our community so we look forward to seeing you on there thank you I've got one more from Naomi here and Naomi is asking can we join Redback products from mobile devices who would like to answer that one Simply, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, absolutely. You know, we support mobile devices from Android to Apple. So really, uh, yes, the answer is yes. And that's across the board, Pete, all the products? Yes, in, indeed yeah. it is. Yes, absolutely. Great. Well, that's, that's all the questions. So thank you to the online community for, for that. Now, um, we're going to have a look at 2015, and I'm going to ask each of the guests here to, to give me, and they've got one minute to <laughs> tell me about 2015 in their own words. So I'm going to start with Jeff. Jeff, one minute, and I am timing you. <laughs> That's going to be hard then. Okay, uh, 2015, I said before, it's growth and development, uh, expansion, moving into Melbourne. My goal is to have a wonderful facility in Melbourne this time, 2015. Fantastic. Under a minute. Fantastic. Well under. First Pete, time ever. Hit us. Pete, Pete will take the difference. Yeah, I'll take the difference. <laughs> I'll take the extra minute. But you know, absolutely. 2015 is all about growth. It's about, uh, well, from a technology perspective, we want to make the, the, the best, highly available service out there so that you guys never have any downtime and we can scale up to whatever you guys need. Great. Is 
doing Sarah, well. <laughs> so so good. The team down. So um, I think 2015 um, for me is really getting us all on the same page and aligning as a team so we can then provide the best customer experience, the best products and the best service um, along with that as well. So, um, And yeah, also about keeping up the education, I think, and being able to provide you guys with not just products and services, but new ideas and innovative ways on how to use them, which is good. Kurt? Uh, look, 2015 for us is uh, probably um, adding another five or six staff to the sales team. So we'll be over, over 20 at that point in time. Um, upskilling the sales team, I think, to, um, to be able to bring value and expertise um, to that buying process. Uh, being able to provide unique market insight to our customers um, and differentiate our, our service offering um, to what else is in, in the market currently. So yeah, exciting 2015, I think, is what's ahead for the sales team. And last but not least, Kieran. I suppose I should do something. We're selling more, we're marketing <laughs> more, and we're developing new services. So um, we've got some very um, targeted, very simple focuses for the year ahead. The year ahead for us really is understanding the customer requirement. And I know that sounds a bit cliche and a bit obvious, um, but really understanding what is it that our customers buy from Redback and the service is one thing, but you know, what is it that makes us different? And I really want to home in on that. And part the second part of that is the second part of that customer component is having a team that thinks, behaves, and understands the importance of customer centricity and customer focus. And that's going to kick off a number of initiatives. So one will be supporting the growth in Melbourne and making sure we've got the right capability and the right team in Melbourne to deliver on-site managed events for our customers in Victoria. Um, we talked earlier about that customer satisfaction process and really bedding down a closed loop customer satisfaction process. It's great to ask customers what they think and what they want and what they expect. Um, we need to go back and we need to come back to you customers with tangible actions on what we're doing as an organization to address some of those concerns. Um, so yeah, next year, Natalie, really is about, um, yeah, just bonding, continue my learning and understanding um, the industry and what we do. And um, yeah, really focus on that customer experience. That's really great. blow them out the water. Fantastic. Well, guys, as they say, that's a wrap. So <laughs> wishing you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll see you in 2015. Thank you very, Thanks very much. Guys. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.